Hello everyone, welcome to Best Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2023 Lincoln Navigator. Before we begin, please like and subscribe so I continue to bring accurate and clear car reviews in under 10 minutes. Let's get started. The large full-size three-row SUV has become a very relevant and popular vehicle in current times. As close as the roads will get to owning a yacht, they are expensive but ultra nice. This Lincoln Navigator is no exception to any of that. The nicer brother to the Ford Expedition, you know when you see this monster SUV on the road that you're looking at something with a high status in the car world. If you're loving the design and want to know more, then stay tuned. Today, look at the different trims and details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. Photos and information in today's video come direct from Lincoln or from Car and Driver. Let's dive in. The 2023 Navigator will come to you in five different trims. Standard, Reserve, Reserve L, Black Label, and Black Label L. Those L's stand for the extra long wheelbase. Standard trim, the lowest one, will start you off just over 80000 at A1260. And the black label L, the most expensive, will top you off at just shy of $115,000. So although there are five trims, they are starting at a very high price. So this is definitely not a vehicle for everyone that they can get their hands on easily. Um, but if you're in the market for one of these, you have five different options here that all provide a great SUV. Hopefully one that falls in the exact price point that you want. These all share the same engine, a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. It gives you 440 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque. Unlike their rivals currently that mostly have V8s, uh, you get maybe slightly better gas mileage on this and you get just as much power with that twin turbo. They're all also paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission that's said to be very smooth. Um, drivetrain here, you got rear-wheel drive, all-wheel drive is optional. Uh, that can be put in. And looking at MPGs here, the big V6 will get you 17 in the city, 23 on the highway, which actually is surprising to me how high that is, given the engine and the fact that this is an enormous SUV. It's not bad at all. We'll take a look now at the exterior pictures of this Navigator while we talk about it. This is a very nice design from Lincoln. They did a great job to make the exterior look luxurious to match their high-end interior. Chrome is the name of the game. But black accents also find their way in depending how you option we all know if a designer wants to make a trim look luxurious they just slap on the chrome everywhere and there's no shortage of this it's just a giant rolling boat of chrome uh, but looks sharp sometimes chrome can be too much but this looks okay the l trims are the longer wheelbase for more cargo room like i mentioned this doesn't necessarily lengthen the room between the seats but the standard wheelbase does not give you ample cargo space behind that third row, so the L will give you a little more. Although a high quality SUV, this is meant to be a smooth pavement cruiser, pavement princess. This is a massive SUV and has a stiff steering wheel and soft suspension. So take it easy on your Navigator, uh, especially because you spend a lot of money on this thing. Don't go off-roading with it because it's not going to be very comfy for you uh, or your Navigator. The standard trim still provides a very nice navigator for you. The reserve starts to really ramp up what you get standard and that black label, uh, both standard and long wheelbase are obviously giving you the most standard features and have the price tag to match. The main differences as you go up are more options, packages, standard exterior and interior features are more elevated just like all vehicles. One plus side of this with that a uh, big old twin turbo V6 in the towing package. You have a max towing of 8,700 pounds. So you can tow your small boat, small camper, whatever you want. And you have the ability to do that. I think the best bang for your buck, in my opinion, is the Reserve or the Reserve L if you need that extra room. This trim will provide standard features such as heated and ventilated seats, heads up display, a power adjustable steering wheel, and numerous driver's assist features, plus a more elevated exterior look. Yes, it's more expensive by a good amount over that standard. Standard is still a great vehicle if that's all you want. Um, but if you want some more standard features, uh, definitely go with this reserve and you're still getting a phenomenal looking and performing vehicle. We'll take a look now. We've all been waiting for some pictures of the interior. We're going to look at the reserve and the black label. This is a stunning and huge interior. Uh, the interior is probably, I'd say, 75% of the reason why someone would want this SUV. Luxury comes on the inside, arguably more than the outside, since you spend your time inside the vehicle when you use it. Yes, you want the exterior to match 
that luxurious feel. And if you just want to sit in your living room, look out the window and stare at this thing, you want it to look nice. And this does, thankfully. But this inside uh, is a force to be reckoned with for its competitors. The third row has more room compared to the competitors on this, which is great uh, for your money. You're, you know, you're getting a little extra space. Uh, you're nearly 104 cubic feet of storage with all the seats down. And if you opt for that L, you'll get more than that. This is one of the largest SUVs available in 2023. Check out my other video that goes through all those large SUVs for 2023 and get a couple more specifications on just how big this thing is. Very high quality materials, especially if you opt for the black label. High quality leather, wood accents, and 30-way adjustable massaging seats are all available. A standard 13.2-inch infotainment touchscreen comes on all trims next to a great gauge area. Everything is clear and easy to use. Wireless, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto comes standard. USB ports for every row. A 14-speaker Rebel stereo system is standard, but a 28-speaker Rebel Ultima 3D stereo is part of the optional luxury package. Uh, I think this should be called a more than luxury package because you're already getting so much. Host of driver's assist, technology, and safety features standard or optional. Overall, a phenomenal interior, even on the most base trim. Being able to have the biggest screen, even on the standard, is a huge plus for those wanting to spend less money to get their navigator, but not settle on features such as an infotainment screen. In review, guys, no doubt this navigator is a very special SUV. Some nice competition out there for it, you know, the Escalade, uh, the GMC Yukon, maybe a, a suburban high country, or even its brother, the Expedition, top trim of that. You have your options. When it comes to buying a three-row luxury SUV, you know, full size, as big as you can get. Um, but few are this nice, in my opinion. I, it's really hard to beat this, except maybe an Escalade. You know, GMC, Chevy, they put out great stuff, but it doesn't quite compare to this. And even its brother, the Expedition, is not going to compare to the quality of this, as Lincoln is that step up from Ford. But you really can't go wrong here, no matter which trim you pick. It's so great to see that even the standard trim is... Uh, equipped with the interior that you would want. So even if you spend that less amount of money, you're not settling on those some of those things. It's just little things that you know you can get over if you don't have a ventilated seat, I'm sure. Although that should absolutely be standard on $80,000, but that's a different discussion. Hopefully there's an option here for you. Hopefully this video will lay things out in a clear way for you guys to understand that. Uh, thank you for watching this Best Car Review. Please subscribe if not already, and I'll catch you guys on the next Best Car Review.